Hi guys and welcome back to By Any Means Necessary. I'd like to say thank you so much to everyone who has sent me a message, right? And I'd like to thank everyone, yeah, for, for, for signing up to my channel, right? I have now reached a thousand subscribers and I just can't believe that. I'm beside myself with happiness. So I'm really pleased to say thank you to all of you who have signed up to my channel. And let's, let's speak a bit about, about um, Brexit, shall we? So, I should say, how, how's Brexit going for you, Brexiters? How's it, how's it going? Because things don't seem to be going too well. Now we have um, shortages of the flu vaccine. Who do you think, out of everyone, yeah, is going to suffer the most for the flu vaccine? You must realise that the flu is a massive killer in this country. Massive killer every single year. That's why people have to be vaccinated for it. Now we've got a shortage. And it's down to you Brexiters. And why have we got a shortage? Because nobody doesn't want to come here to work now. And even if they give them visas, they come in here still. What are they coming here for? Can't come here for the, to help you people. Because you don't need their help, do you? British people to do the work. They all get the British to do it. How about all the but you know this this country needs a holy for butchers. You going go kill the animals? Specialist work. That specialist work, and it takes you know it takes some doing. Vegans and vegetarians are not in, in into this part of the conversation because they're they're right now just thinking this. Well, that's a good thing we ain't got butchers. This is what's going on. So, so long as you're not um, Jewish or um, Muslim, we can all have a piggy. So you can have a pig and ride round on a lead with a pig or a cow. <laughs> Where the hell are you going to keep a cow in your house? So, we have to wonder, innit? When you Brexiters are going to come to terms and say, you know what? Man, we fucked up. If it wasn't for the fact, yeah, that we're some racist motherfuckers, this country wouldn't be going through the shit it's going through. And, you know, I always say to you, yeah, think of it in this sense. If you're a racist motherfucker, yeah, I guarantee you, there's a lot of your children out there who don't like you. Because you're not a nice person. And, you know, most kids can see that. They don't like their parents. So a lot of times, your daughters are going to punish you. They're going to come home with me, Stormzy, or Gina Yashere. Or if it's a boy, they come home with Michelle Gale, Beyonce, or Andy Peters. That's how they're going to roll. And it's going to burn you. Especially if they're going to have mixed race children. This, that's going to that's, that's gonna really push you into the heart. It's going it's to have to push the racism out of you. But a lot of times that still don't really... Because I've noticed yeah, that a lot of you Brexiters, yeah, some of you might have like, mixed race children or whatever, but you're still damn racist. And I don't understand that. So it must mean you hate your grandchildren. I think that only a Brexiter could probably, could probably hate their grandchildren <laughs> to, to be straight with you. The only people who could probably hate their grandchildren. Because that's all you guys have got. Your, your whole life is determined by hate. And now we're suffering with your hate. Because you can't deal with the world as it is. Pointless, because you just have to deal with the world as it is. You can't, you can't change it to how you want it to be. People like me We're not going nowhere. We're, we're English. We've already had that discussion, right? So, people like me, we're not going anywhere. The Muslims aren't going anywhere. We're still going to be there. Still be on your high street. Still be in Tesco. And you'll still be getting yourself wound up about this shit. Pointless. Just stop it. Just think about us as English people that you can be proud of. 
Simple things, isn't it, really? It doesn't take much for you to look in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm holding this mirror up at myself and everything that is wrong in the United Kingdom today is my fault. I was fooled. I was fooled by people like Nigel Farage and Boris Johnson. I look at those people as my betters. So I was fooled by them with their fancy accents. But you know, it's kind of difficult yeah, to fool someone who doesn't want to be fooled. Someone who says, you know what, actually, no, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Hold on. Why, why am I against these people? These people are just like me. Boris Johnson's not like you. Are you like Digby Jones? Yeah? Or remember the guy from um, when they had their expenses and the guy who was having his moat cleaned yeah, on our expense? When's the last time you've had your moat cleaned? No, I bet you'd be cleaning the moat. But you're voting along with people who have got a moat to clean. Uh, see, I, 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 I still, I keep telling you, I'm baffled by the by your whole life. I'm just baffled by it, because I, I don't know where where all that hate comes from. Don't know where it comes from. But obviously, you believe in your mind, yeah, that you're with those people, with them. Yeah, but the difference is they're not with you. They just want your vote. And when you give that to them, you're like, oh, thank you. See you in five years. Just ask the people at the Red Wall what they think. How's leveling up that agenda going? Things leveled yet? Do things even look like they're going to be leveled? Or do things look like they're going to get a lot worse for you? Listen, there's loads of farms and all that, yeah, you know, who are crying out for British workers, for the British workers to go out there and do some work. We just have left it a bit late, because a lot of them have gone bankrupt. So they've left it late. Which means, in a lot of cases, you, you do realise, yeah, this, this means there's going to be a lack of British food in our shops. And is that a Brexit benefit? Is that a Brexit bonus? Right, that we're no longer going to be having British food in our shops. There's going to be a lack of it. A lot of the farms have gone. Right? Pointless growing, you know, fruit and vegetables in this country if there's no one to pick the fruit and vegetables. So now we're going to be eating Spanish and things from like um, Peru. Some of the fucking tomatoes from Peru or from Spain. Right. Yeah, easy. I can grow tomatoes in my garden. Right. One of the, you know, it's not many things that really grow in this country. Right. We can't grow anything exotic, of course not. But you know, the things that we can grow in this country, some of us are going to be getting them from like from the EU, and they'll be glad to sell it to us. Just like they're glad not to take our fish. And they're British fish and they're much happier for it. That's one of your, that's, that, that's again, one of your um, Brexit stars. Thinks he's funny. He's not funny. He's just fucking up your life. Bought a house in London for 5.5 .5 million just so I can fuck your life over. <laughs> that doesn't make see, you see? And you would have seen that coming if, you were, if your mind wasn't clouded. It's because your mind is clouded. So you would have seen that coming. Remainers knew that. Sorry, Ramonas knew that. We knew from time, all the time we knew. We told you they were fooling you. 
they're taking you for you know there's a word right that um that, that, that they use in the west indies it's called papishol and that's what they've done to you take you for papishol think about that word right because that basically means they're taking you for a bunch of egypts <laughs> or a bunch of idiots that's how the Irish would say it, and the, and, and, and the West Indians, Egypt, a bunch of idiots, a bunch of stupid, thick, racist idiots. Because you know, a lot of idiots would have been like, nah, come on, man, <laughs> that, that, that's going to hurt me, that Brexit thing, but you up with your racism, you're like, hey, oh, we, we can, we, it, it could be better over here without the image. It's, it's as if to say, yeah, that you think, yeah, that the government is going to say, you know what we're going to do, yeah, is we'll get rid of all the immigrants, and then what we're going to do is we'll get, like, Dominic Raab, Pretty Patel. Oh, no, actually, Pretty Patel can't stay because she, her ass would have to go too, right? So we'll get we'll get um, Dominic Raab and um, maybe, um, Rob, maybe Honest Bob Jenrick. No, not Honest Bob, because you can't trust Honest Bob with a penny, yeah? He that money that that money's spent the minute you give it to him, right? So so you have to probably go for um, you you so you who you could go for? So if we say we go for um Liz Truss, yeah, and Dominic Raab, yeah, and they're gonna just come round the whole of the UK, just giving that sacks of money because all the immigrants have gone, and now all the immigrants have gone, yeah. All the money that that country make, they're gonna give to you. Yeah, in sacks, a van, just driving round. Yeah, is that what you think is going to happen? If Nigel Farage said that to you, you'd be like, "Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think we'll go for that, Nigel. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think we'll go for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah." Is it, is, is, when is it going to happen, Nigel? When is it going to happen? Remember, Nigel left them people walking back from up north somewhere, uh, walking. Marching when Nigel said, "I'm going to be there with you all the way. I'm going to walk with you all the way." Just like when Trump said to the to the insurrectionist, "Yeah, you go down to the Capitol building, and I'm going to be there with you." You know where he was? He was with Nigel at that time. So anyway, you Brexiters, yeah, sort your shit out. Start getting pen to paper. Write to Johnston. Tell him this shit is not on. Okay, you made a mistake. Right now, you want to, you've changed your mind, and now you want things to go back to where they was before. This is by any means necessary. I'm the MC Ribs. I'll see you guys real soon. You hold it down. Pleasure to speak to you.